Good day, everyone. So today I'll be discussing about the philosophies of education. So these are just the keywords to better understand the philosophy of education. So philosophy of education has an important role to play in our, um, you know, our future career in teaching for us to be um, better equipped and for us to be an effective teacher someday. So as a future educator or an education student, you have to familiarize and understand the various philosophies of education and these are the essentialism, the perennialism, the progressivism, the existentialism, the behaviorism, constructivism, and of course the reconstructionism. So before we proceed to the seven philosophies of education, first we need to we need to emphasize the word philosophy. So what does philosophy mean? So the word philosophy is derived from the two Greek words which is the pilo means love. So the first word is a pilo means love. And the second word is sophie or sopos means wisdom. So the second word is sophie or sopos means wisdom. So philosophy means love of wisdom. So philosophy of education, um, it is important to understand um, to uh, of course, it is important to understand how philosophy of education are interrelated in order for us to become an effective a teacher. And also by learning this, the teacher would know how to um, would know how to teach and what to teach. So in every philosophies, okay, in every philosophies we have, it really help us figuring out and understand or understand what kind of teacher we want to be. So let's begin with the essentialism. So the essentialism. So given by William Bagley, teaching the basic or essential knowledge, training the mind with what are essential. So this um, so this type of philosophy, no? so this type of philosophy is a teacher centered. The teacher should focus on what is really what is really important to teach, what is really needed to teach, and what is really essential to teach to our students, to their students. So um, why the philosophy, um, why the philosophy, why the philosophies of education essentialism is teach, or what is the goal of the essentialism? Why it is being teach? So, the goal of essentialism is to instill students with essential of um, academic knowledge and acting a back to basic approach. So, what teach? So, ano nga bang tinuturo dito sa essentialism? So, basic skills are fundamental, are such as, so there are three um, fundamental arts, so such as reading, writing, arithmetic, and right conduct. Then, how to teach this? Um, of course, emphasize on mastery of subject matter, and observance of core requirements and longer academic here. So this is the essentialism. So let's um, proceed to the another uh, philosophies of education. So this is the perennialism. 
So perennialism given by Robert Hutchins no, focuses on unchanging universal truths, teaching ideas that are everlasting. So nandito naman yung mga, nandito naman yung cure that everlasting. So this is also a teacher-centered type of philosophies of education that more focus on teaching the the um, great works or something like that um, kailangan yung teacher is uh, tuturo niya is all about the great works or reading some b- books great books uh, like philosophy history something like that and they are the generalist teacher because they are not specialist so generalist teacher meaning to say that um, generalist teacher hindi lang sila they are not just only stick into that position or into not position into that for example subject they are not only focused on that subject well it's uh, a specialist is that what uh, they are uh, they are only focused on the um, special like subject like that so for example is that um, the bachelor of their entire education is a generalist general lahat ng subject na lang. while the b said or the bachelor of secondary of education meron silang kanya-kanyang major so it's something like that that's that's just an example so um oh it's, i forgot to ano so why teach so why perennialism teach or why the perennialism is being teach well the goal of the perennialism is to teach students think rationally and develop minds that um, that can think critically critically so what to teach well, a lesson are lifted from classic and great books. So just like what I said earlier, kailangan nilang magbasa-basa. For example, um, about the history, about the philosophies, about the... Um, pwede silang magkuha ng ideas nila sa encyclopedias, something like that. Something like that, sorry. Okay. How to teach. Well, classroom are teacher-centered. Students engage in Socratic dialogue. So, students engage in Socratic dialogue, meaning to say that they are not just only focusing in... Um, or um, Socratic dialogue, meaning to say, have an arguments in their classroom. Uh, for example, the teacher will, um, will ask and the students will answer so something like that the socratic dialogue so example is this the recitation you can say that so next um philosophy is the progressivism the progressivism so given by john jury learning by doing so nandito na yung keyword niya learning by doing education comes from the experience experience so um of course the progressivism is that so this philosophy of education and student centered which focuses on developing the students more students more moral compass or process of development so education comes from the experience so we believe that i believe that um uh, experience is the best teacher. So, nakakapulo tayo ng ara, aral when we have a more experience. Diba? So, next is that why teach? So, the goal of the, the uh, progressivism is um to develop learners into becoming enlightened and intelligent citizens so what to what to teach so the curriculum that responds to students needs and that relates to their personal lives and experience then how to teach 
to teachers imply methods. They believe that one learns by doing. So next is the existentialism. So existentialism given by Kierkegaard and Schwarzschild focuses on develops a freedom to choose their own purpose in life. So it means that existentialism focuses on his self, his or herself, or being an individual. Freedom to choose whatever he or she likes. If he or she likes to be a doctor, nurse, um, to be a teacher, to be an engineer, an engineer, to be an architect, or so on, just they have a freedom to choose. So, um, a choices nila yon. Kung anong gusto nila um, nila sa buhay in the future, something like that. So, why teach? So, the goal of the existentialism is to help the students understand and appreciate as a unique individual so as a person you have to appreciate yourself on what you are good at or what uh, what uh, where or what capable um, you are or where you are capable with something like that so what to teach so students are given a wide variety of options from which to choose Humanities are given emphasis. So how to teach? Methods focus on the individual. Learning is individual. Learning is self-paced and self-directed. So the next philosophy, uh, philosophies of education is the behaviorism. So given, uh, no, it's always got it. I don't know who's the order about this. I just saw it in the link that in, in, in um, put, uh, this you can see in the um, you know description so behaviorism it's always guided by the standards or procedure this acquisition of new behavior based on environmental conditions so meaning to say that behaviorism is really focused on cultivating behaviors that are beneficial to our to the society or what is beneficial or what are the beneficial in our society that can help you to become better person so why teach so the goal of the behaviorism is to modify and shape Sorry, students' behavior. So what to teach? Teachers teach students to respond favorably to various stimuli in the environment. So how to teach? Teachers are in arrange environmental condition. They provide reinforcement, reinforcement and punishment. And next philosophy of philosophies of education is constructivism, um, given by Jean Piaget. People construct their own understanding and knowledge of the world. Construct, um, constructing, uh, constructing meaning. So, um, why teach? So the goal of the behavior. Uh, Constructivism, rather, is to develop intrinsically motivated and independent learners with learning skills. What to teach? Students are taught to learn. How to teach? Teachers provide uh, students with data or experiences that allow them to hypothesize, predict, manipulate, or pose question, research, and invent. So the next uh, philosophy of education is uh, the uh, reconstructionism. So reconstructionism emphasizes the addressing a social questions and uh, quest to create a better society 
and worldwide democracy. So why teach? So the goal of the reconstructionism is to attain social reform. Okay, what to teach? Okay, curriculum focuses on students taking social actions in solving real problems. Then how to teach? Social issues are dealt through inquiry, dialogue, and multiple perspectives. Community-based learning is utilized. So that's it. So the reconstructionism is the last um, philosophies of education. I hope you learned uh, something about this simple, simple discussion. And this is just an academic, you know, academic purposes only. And um, if you heard um, ungrammatical error or something like that, just comment below. So I um so it can correct and I'm I'm willing to you know accept um I'm willing to be corrected so thank you and God bless.